Hi, my name is Harrison Varley. I'm a very new face, and I hope I'm a new talent as well, but we'll see. I'm being published in Parsec Magazine's first issue, but considering I'm in the opening act with the likes of Dan Abnett and Ken McLeod, I'm deeply honored to be standing among such giants. I'll try to live up to the company. My story's name is Lichyard. It's about a man carrying an undead corpse to the eponymous Lichyard in order to bury him. If he doesn't bring him, or if something goes wrong, then his friend's spirit would be trapped in his own inanimate body forever. It was inspired by an old picture I saw of a person carrying a corpse on his back. And immediately it gave me this image of this argument wandering through a city. And then suddenly the camera pulls in and we discover that he's talking with his dead body. And I just found that very uh, amusing, interesting as well. It also invokes the ancient practice of placing coins on the eyes of the dead, but perhaps I've introduced a bit of a new spin on that scene as well. Lichyard is one of the first stories I've ever published. So as a Canadian-British writer living in Canada, it's amazing to receive such encouragement from Parsec, even from over across the pond. That is just part of what makes the magazine so special. Their eyes are open to all kinds of writers, so I look forward to seeing Parsec's name in speculative fiction develop as the future progresses. It's been an honor and a privilege. Thank you. Hi, my name's Ken McLeod. I have a short story in the initial issue of Parsec, which I hope you're about to read. It's called 1989, and it asks the question, what if, if events like those of our 1989, you can look up the history for younger readers, is happened in the world of George Orwell's 1984, <clears throat> a book which I've read many times and has given me a lot to think about over many years. So here's a big thank you to Parsec for publishing it and very good wishes to this new magazine and to all who sail in her. Thank you. Hello, I'm Tom Hunter, the director of the Arthur C. Clarke Award Prize for Science Fiction Book of the Year. This year we're celebrating our 35th anniversary and I'm writing exclusively for Parsec on how we're already looking forwards to the year 2036 and our 50th anniversary. Oh, hello, I have a new story coming out very soon. When? This Friday, I tell you, this Friday. It's called Down and Out Under the Tannhauser Gate and it's in Parsec, a new science fiction and fantasy magazine. What's it about? Well, maybe you know who Roy Batty and Rick Deckard are. It's not about them. I've long thought that what would be really great for the SFF community and readership in the UK would be another top quality fiction magazine to stand alongside the great publications we already have. And now, with the arrival of Parsec, we have exactly that. Brought to you by the amazing PS Publishing and curated by Ian Waits, someone with more editorial experience and love for our genres, it's hard to imagine. Parsec is filled with great stories from talented contemporary writers and, I'm excited to say, me too. I wrote down and out under the Tannhauser Gate when the title arrived in my head. And then there was this song by Nitin Sawney, and somehow they combined to build a mood and a tone and a world and the people who lived there. And I found it, I had to tell that story. You can read it in Parsec, a new magazine out this Friday. My name is Redfern John Barrett. I'm a non-binary science fiction writer who's lived in Berlin for the past 11 years. I also live with my two partners, and a lot of my writing centres around identity and relationships, especially where they may take us in the future. 
My story, We Have Forever, follows Petra and Felix, an East German and a West German, with very different worldviews and goals. They met when they were still young, each from different sides of a divided country. But since they've met, the wall has fallen, they've married and raised a family, and of course, they've grown old together. But as a new and miraculous cell therapy begins restoring all their friends to 20 years old, Petra and Felix are left with a choice. Do they want to rewind their lives and restart their youth? And more importantly, what happens to our vows to love each other forever, when that really does mean forever? We Have Forever is featured in the inaugural issue of Parsec magazine, alongside such talented and well-known sci-fi writers as Dan Abnett, Ken McLeod, and Esther Friesner. It's a testament to PS Publishing's legacy within science fiction to have such a wonderful lineup from the very outset, and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. Hello, science fiction readers in England, the USA, and uh, all of the, all other parts of our pleasant planet. Uh, I'm here today to. Uh, enthuse about a brand new magazine, Parsec, edited by the redoubtable Ian Waits and published by the equally prestigious and formidable uh, PS Publishing, who I have uh, uh, been privileged to work with for many, many years now, and uh, to count uh, the uh, founding uh, mother and father of PS Publishing, Nikki and Pete Crowther, as my friends. Um, ever since the birth of the first uh, science fiction magazine, uh, short fiction and magazines have driven um, the development of our field. They've uh, nurtured budding writers. They've provided homes for uh, uh, mature and uh, well-advanced writers at every point in their career. and. Uh, the birth of any new magazine should thrill us, and we should support it until uh, uh, we uh, are proven that perhaps <laughs> if our faith is misplaced, uh, that has happened occasionally. But uh, generally speaking, uh, subscribing to and uh, uh, supporting a new magazine is uh, how we keep the field healthy and alive. Um, I know that Ian Waits's editorship will uh, rival that of the masters uh, who have preceded him, Campbell and Gold and Ed Furman and uh, any other folks that you would care to rank up there. So please uh, dig into your pockets for the very nominal fee that uh, a subscription entails, and I hope you enjoy my story in issue one, and I will see you... Uh, when we're celebrating uh, Parsec's uh, 25th anniversary. Take care now. Bye. <laughs>